A previous video demonstrated the creation of a new database and importing a SQL file to create tables and data. This video demonstrates the use of phpMyAdmin to create a table from scratch. An entity relationship diagram, also known as an ERD, is useful and common in describing the database tables prior to their construction. The ERD will commonly show the table and field names, the field types and sizes, any primary or foreign key fields, and any relationships with other tables. In this case, we will build a client's table for storing information about people who may register with the website. If working in a local development environment, start the servers. Then open the PHP MyAdmin tool in a browser window. Find and click the database where the new table will be created. In this case, PHP Motors. With the database selected, click the Structures tab. Find the Create Table Input box and type the name of the new table, Clients. Change the number of columns as needed, referring to the client's ERD, then click the Go button. We'll create the column names, types, and sizes as shown in the RD. The client ID field is the primary key and is an int, meaning integer, and will be auto-incrementing. This means the database will automatically add the next value whenever a new record is added to the table. The size of the field will be 10, meaning 10 digits, which equates to numbers in the billions. The field will also be unsigned, meaning all values will be on the positive side of zero. All other fields will follow the specifications of the ERD. A field of type varchar or variable characters means that they can hold alphanumeric data up to the limit given. The comments field will be text, which means similar to varchar, but has a default size in the neighborhood of 64,000 characters. The client level field will be an enum or enumerated field. An enum field means that the allowed values are predefined and can only hold one of those values. When creating the enum field, be sure to surround each allowed value with double quotes and separate each quoted value with a comma and no spaces. You will also need to set a default value to 1. This means that whenever a new record is inserted, the record will automatically be given a value of 1 as the client level. Only the comment field should be marked as null, meaning that it does not have to contain a value. When done defining the fields, click the Save button. If everything is correct, the new table will appear in the table list of the database. As it is empty, meaning that it contains no records, the Browse tab will not show any data. The last video in this series will show how to build a proxy client to interact with a server and this database from the Internet.